Hello, what's up? This is your girl Dragon and it's time to do another quick tutorial. But before we jump into it, be sure to drop a sub. If you do, you are awesome. All right, in this tutorial, we're gonna be talking about lighting and the importance of using it in your maps. You can make your 1.0 maps look just as great as 2.0 maps and in reverse. In fact, you can use these techniques in both 1.0 and 2.0. So today, I'm gonna to go ahead and show you guys some basic lighting techniques you can use today to help make your maps look fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, here we are. Oh man, oh man, oh man, there's a lot going on here. Let me go ahead and clean this up for you guys so we can start off with a decent slate. All right, cool, that looks 100 times better. All right, so let's go ahead and let me break down what's going on with the lighting in this scene. All right, so when players spawn into the scene, the first thing they're going to see is my custom made logo for Jelly Pop and Surfrider. And you're gonna notice that she is very well lit. And let me tell you how I did that. So we have a key light and we have two back lights and a fill light in the back. This creates a really unique effect where the light wraps around the subject, creating a separation from the background. We have individual lights in the background to fill certain areas to make it appear more dynamic. Now it's important to know that when you're lighting your scenes in Fortnite Creative, whether it be 1.0 or 2.0, that you can use a lot of the same techniques you use with the photography lighting for game design. These types of techniques you can use are the angle, the size, the distance, the shape, duration, and color of the light. You can also introduce really cool techniques such as Rembrandt, split lighting, broad lighting, and even butterfly lighting, or you can even do loop lighting. There's so many things you can do. Now, as far as the lighting settings, let's go ahead and take a look at how I did this here for Surfrider, and you guys can see exactly how easy it can be. All right, so let's take a look at the settings. First, we're gonna check out the key light. So initial state is on, the light color is a slightly off-white, Reflection intensity for this scene is at 100%. The light type is a spotlight. The light size is small. So why is it a spotlight? It's a spotlight because I don't want the light to reflect or bounce off of anything except the subject. So the subject is the main point here and that's how I want it. Let's go ahead and see. We're not gonna cast shadows. However, you can if you want to. Let's look at additional light settings. We have light intensity set at 10%. The rhythm is constant. And rhythm time really wouldn't matter if it's constant, so you can set it to anything. Again, no shadows. The dimming amount is 70%. Again, that doesn't matter because it's on a constant setting and so on, and that is the key light. Now let's check out the backlights. We have two backlights and a fill light and then a fill light behind the logo. The backlighting is the light that you see that rims around the shape of the subject, creating basically a separation from the subject in the background. So for the settings here, they're slightly the same. The light color is of course the same, but you can adjust that to anything you want. Like for example, if you want it to be like a pink backlight, you can create some really cool effects. Let, let's just take a look through a few of these. Like purple's always a favorite, right? Let's do a brighter, like a purple pink, right? So you can go ahead and you see how that really changes the difference there. And you can see that reflection um, off of the back there, really cool. So let's go back to, there we go. And take a look here at the settings. So the light intensity is at 20%, light reflection is 100%. So you can see it's matching the key light. You see, that's really cool there, but you can adjust that depending on your scene and your needs. Again, everything the same, and this light is the same as well, no different. It's just placement of the lights. And you're good to go. Now let's take a look at the fill light back here. The fill light is a light color blue. And this again is personal taste since we're supposed to be under the ocean. I decided to go ahead and fill it with blue and it definitely adds to the scenery when you're looking in the back. It's very subtle and it works. 
All right, so we're at a light intensity for the fill light in the back, 80%. The light reflections, 100%. Again, this is a point light, not a spotlight. And the reason why this is a point light is because you want the light to basically bounce off the walls. So you can see how this blue bounces off the walls, but the white backlight concentrates on the subject. The light size is tiny, constant, and so on. So you can see how that makes a big difference. Now to fill it out even more, I have another fill light back here that basically lights the logo from behind. And this is a darker blue. The intensity is at 30%. And this is a point light as well with a light size of medium. So this one, if you were to, let's say, set it to spotlight, it's going to not bounce. And you're gonna see it's just going to not highlight the background as it should. All right, so that's just a really quick tutorial on how to do a five piece light setup to light your scene, um, specifically for lighting your subject. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for this tutorial. Like I said, it's going to be super, super quick. I do hope you got some insight on how to best light your scene when it comes to creating a game in Fortnite Creative 1.0. And don't forget, you can also take these techniques into 2.0 as well can't wait to show you a tutorial on that one it's gonna be really awesome um, if this tutorial helped you please be sure to drop a comment drop a like it really helps and I really appreciate it and it makes me know that you guys want to see more all right you guys that's gonna do it for this tutorial thanks for joining up and I'll see you in the next one bye